Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about power formula. Huh? So, power formula. Let's just write that one here in our virtual board. No? So, we have power formula. Okay. So, the power formula is one of the um, formulas for integration no which is also a a inverse of the formula for uh, for functions con uh, raised to a certain power uh, when we are going to get the derivative of those type of functions so for example from our um, from our differential calculus we have this one d u to the n okay is equal to n u n minus 1 du no? maybe I should have that one link, no? then if we are going to um, replace no? we are going to replace just right here uh, replace um, n to replace uh, replace n to n n plus 1 so we could have our formula now as d u to the n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 u to the n plus uh, minus 1 uh, n plus 1 so this is for the n minus 1 du so simplifying this one so we'll have uh, d u to the n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 uh, we have uh, this is u n plus 1 minus 1 so that will be n d u okay so if we are going to have this one here no we will um, we will multiply both sides by 1 over n plus 1 okay so we'll end up with d u to the n plus 1 over n okay so there is a problem in our um, pen here so n plus 1 is equal to u to the n du okay so we have now that one okay so if we are going to integrate both sides no both sides so what will happen here is our derivative in this uh, right side of the equation will be will now become u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 is equal to u to the n du integral no we are going to rearrange our equations. We have the integral of u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Then because this is an indefinite integration, so we, plus, we put plus c or we add c as the constant of integration. So this is now our power formula. No? So this is the formula which we are going to find the integ integral of a certain function raised to an exponent n. Okay, so that is now the power formula. Okay, so there is a catch for this one. No, there is a condition no? that our n. So we have to do the pole pole. Our n must not be equal to negative one. If that will occur, so our n, our exponent is equal to negative 1 then our denominator here because it is negative 1 plus 1 it will become 0 then our integration will become um, undefined no undefined so that's why for this formula to work the only um, the only condition is our n is not equal to negative 1 but we could also integrate that one so the, there is another formula to get the 
integral of our of a certain function if our n is equal to negative 1. Okay? So maybe we will have some example for this one. No? Example. Okay. So first example. Maybe we have that one in green. Example. Okay? So we start with something easy. Okay? So we have the integral of x squared dx. No? Okay? So solution. Okay. So the very first thing to do here is to determine what is our u or the function itself. So our u is equal to x. So this is the function that is being um, considered or the function that is, uh, if, the, if this we go to reverse this one, the function that is being um, uh, differentiated. No? Then if we are going to, to get the derivative of our du, the equivalent derivative that one of the actual function is dx. So we have our u as x, our dx as our du. So we could now say that the integral of u to the n du is equal to the integral of x squared dx. So from this one, we could say that our n is equal to 2. So using the formula, no? so the integral now of our x squared dx, so that is from this one, you could say that the integral of u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. No? So we could now say that our x is equal to, our u is equal to x, so we have x squared, our n is equal to 2. No? So x squared plus 1 over n plus 1. So 2 plus 1. Then we could further simplify that one into x cubed over 3. No? And plus c. Because we, this is an indefinite integration. And this is now our answer. Okay? Okay, so another example. Okay, so we have the integral of 3x squared plus 1 plus 1 over 2x squared, okay, dx. So we could have this one. So this the our given is made up of multiple functions, no multiple terms. So we could use the 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 technique of integrating each one of them separate separately, no. So solution. So we could have this one as the integral of three x squared plus one plus one over two x squared dx okay then we, we separate each one so we have the integral of 3 x squared dx plus the integral of dx no we have a one of that then plus in the integral of 1 over 2 x squared dx okay then we could um, put this uh, constants here so these three the coefficients outside of the integral no so we could have that as 3x squared dx plus, so we could just write that one in dx because it is just equal to 1, no? This is just 1. And we have, this one will be 1 half integral of 1 over x squared dx. Now we will integrate individually. Now for this one, from our previous example, we have, um, we have get the answer for this one that is an integral of 3, then we have x cubed, so the previous example, over 3. So we could put on the c no, after we have integrated all of this one. Then for dx, so the derivative of a constant is a function, it is the function itself. So we have that one as x plus 1 half integral of 1 over x squared dx. Okay. 
Now for this one, we could rewrite. No? Maybe we should finish here in this part of the virtual screen no? or virtual board. So we have, should simplify this one. So 3 over 3, that is equal to 1. So we have x cubed plus x squared uh, plus 1 half. Then using the property of exponents, so we could put this one in the denominator, our add numerator, but our exponent will just become negative. So we have x negative 2 dx, no? We have x cubed plus x squared plus 1 half. So our n for this one is negative 2. So this is just u to the n, no? So we have our n is 2, a uh, negative 2. So, x negative 2 plus 1 over, over negative 2 plus 1. Okay. Then we have x cubed plus, what oh, is it? x squared. No, that is not x squared, but only x. No? This is just x. Okay. So, from this one. Sorry for the for that one, no? So we have x plus one half, then x raised to the power of negative one over, so negative two plus one, that will be negative one, then x cubed plus x, then negative one times one half, that will be negative, okay, negative okay, just write that one clearly, no? negative okay negative one half then we have x to the power of negative one then simplifying further for these terms we have x cubed plus x so using the property of um, exponents so we have one over two we bring down our x negative one so that it will become x to the power of 1 or x plus c and this is now our answer for this problem okay okay so we will have again another example no Okay, so example. So we have the integral of a squared minus y squared y dy. No? So this is raised to the power of 5. Okay. So solution. Okay. So if we we first inspect what is our u. So our u is equals to a squared minus y squared. No? du is equal to this is constant. So that will be 0 minus 2y dy. So by inspection of the given, we could say that we lack here um, 2. No? In this term, we lack negative 2 because our y dy must have negative 2 here. No? So... We could say that our given function, our given integral, will become integral of a squared minus y squared raised to the power of 5. So, we will have negative 1 half integral of a squared minus y squared. And we put here negative 2y dy. Okay, so as you can see, we put negative 1 half and we put negative 2 here so that it, it will just be cancelled out and it will just be equal to the given function. So the purpose of making this one, no, this one here, is that we could apply the formula, the power formula or the u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Because for the formula to work, no? You must have the derivative of your u. So if we see here, so this is that that is the du. So if we if we consider our u as a squared minus y squared, then our du will be negative 2y dy. But in the given we have no negative 2. 
So that's why we will put negative 2 on the given equation or the given integral. But uh, putting a negative 2 here will, will make the given integral di different no? from the actual one. So we need also to put negative 1 half in this part so that it will just be cancelled out and will just be going back to this um, to this original integral so our u to the n is this one no this is this is the part of five no uh, i forgot here to put du okay just put here du du okay this is five okay so our u to the n is a squared minus y squared is part of five so we could say that our n is equal to 5. So we could now apply the formula. Okay, so we have orange. No, we have negative 1 half u to the n is a squared. So a squared minus y squared raised to the power of 5, then plus 1 over 5 plus 1. If you will, if you'll be um, asking what happened to the negative. 2y dy so this is just the actual du so that's why the du we we are not considering the du or the 2y dy because on the on the other side or on the formula there is no du here or there is no part in which we are going to evaluate also du so the du will just be um uh, what's so called that uh, will just become a part of the integral itself the given integral okay so simplifying further we have negative Okay, we have negative one half. Then we have a squared minus y squared raised to the power of six over six. No, so we should erase our n here. Okay. Okay. So or equal to. So we we'll just multiply 2 and 6 here, that is negative 1 over 12 a squared minus y squared raised to the power of 6 plus c. And this is now our answer. Okay? Okay, so we will also have another example. Okay. So we have the integral of square root of t minus we should write clearly our t here no the square root of square root of t minus 1 over square root of t d t okay then we'll have the solution no solution okay so we could um uh integrate this one individually no so we have square root of t dt minus square uh, square root integral of one over square root of t dt if you remember our previous example no the previous example is a squared minus y squared is to the power of five y dy no it's a previous example you may be wondering why i did not um, integrate this one in each of the terms the the answer for that is this is not uh, two different terms to be considered as two different terms but they are at, at a single term raised to the power of the exponent so you could not um, uh, separate these two terms here because it is raised to a certain power okay we just erase that one so the, that is just a little um throwback no, from our previous example okay so we have square root of so we just um transform this one or make this one into an exponent no so using the law of exponents so that will be t to the power of t raised to the power of one half no just clearly write our one half here one half dt minus so we have one over t raised to the power of one half dt 
okay then we will um, also apply the law of exponent for this one so that will be t raised to the power of negative one half dt then our u here are all t's no so we could directly go to the power formula because we don't need any um, any other um, transformation for our um, given integral because our t is equals to u then the derivative of that one is dt so we have all the um, value for our dt okay so that will be equal to t one half plus one over one half plus one minus um, t one half negative one half plus one over uh, negative okay negative one half plus one okay then we go here the side so that will become uh, we will have t raised to the power of three over two no because one half plus one is 1.5 or in fraction that will be 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 minus t raised to the power of 1 half over 1 half okay then we will uh, put c here we could also um transform this one or simplify this one further so we will have 2 t raised to the power of 3 over 2 over 2 minus 2 t raised to the power of 1 half plus c so if you fancy radical no so this is not 2 uh, this is not 2 here but 3 okay so if you fancy radicals no so if you if you like to look at radicals we could have two uh, that will be square root of t raised to the power of three all over three minus two square root of t plus c so this could be your final answer or this one okay Okay, so we will have again another example. No? Okay, example. So we have integral of dx over 2x minus 7 raised to the power of 4. Okay, so we have here solution. Okay, so we could transform this one first into... Or we could raise, no? We could put our function to the uh, numerator, no? By using the log exponent, so it will become integral of two x minus seven raised to the power of negative four dx. So our u for this one, okay? Our u is equal to two x minus seven. So we will have our du as 2dx then our n is equal to negative 4 so because by inspection our uh, we have our u to x minus 7 so it is satisfied du to dx so we don't we don't have any 2 here so that's why we will put one half in the side of the integral and put also 2 no so we will uh, transform our given uh, integral to satisfy the formula requirements for power formula so we could have our equation now as the integral integral now as to the integral of 2x minus 7 raised to the power of negative 4 dx is equal to 1 half integral of 2x minus 7 raised to the power of negative 4 to d x okay then using power formula okay we'll just put our um the continuation of our solution here so we have um one half 
Then we have u to the n. So our u to the n is um, 2x, this is our u, minus 7. Our n is 4 plus 1 over n plus 1, so negative 4 plus 1. Okay? So we end up with 1 half. Okay, so 1 half times 2x minus 7 raised to the power of negative 3 over negative 3. So simplifying this much further, so we have negative 1 over 6. 2x minus 7 raised to the power of negative 3 plus um, c. Okay. And this is now our answer. Okay? Okay, so let's have one more example. No? One more example before we finish this discussion. Okay, so maybe we could have this one as the uh, integral of z plus 3 raised to the power of 4 dz. Okay, so we have solution. So, we could say that our u is equal to z plus 3. So, our du is equal to dz. So, satisfied with our dz, no? Okay? Our n is equal to 4. So, the integral now. So, the integral of z plus 3 raised to the power of 4 dz um, is equal to... So, we have our u to the n, so z plus 3, so n plus 1, so 4 plus 1, over n plus 1, so 4 plus 1. So we'll end up with z plus 3 raised to the power of 5, all over 5 plus c. Okay? And this is now our answer. Okay? So, this will be our last example for this um, discussion on um, power formula. So, the integration of um, functions raised to a certain power. No? So, as a, re as a recap, so the power formula is given, is shown as u to the n du is equal to the integral of u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So the given integral must satisfy this formula. So u to the n du. So the du is the derivative of our u and our n is the exponent. And the u obviously is the given function. If that will satisfy this formula, this integral here, then we could use this equivalent or we could integrate using this equivalent here okay so i hope you understand something in this video thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning